Hi, my name is Ellie, and in a series of tutorials, I'm going to show you how to use the features of Venomo Virtual Classroom. I hope you find this useful. One of the groups of features in Venomo Virtual Classroom is related to classroom management. With these features, you can easily manage the permissions and restrictions of participants in the session, both individually and as a group. To access the list of participants and respectively the settings, click on the icon down in the right corner of your screen. You can now clearly see the list of participants in the session. The gear icon gives you access to participants' controls. You can choose to control all participants, excluding hosts, or to control a specific participant from the list. The green slider icon grants permission, while the grey slider restricts it. Practically all rights and permissions can be managed in the virtual classroom space. There are sound controls, microphone and speakers, video or camera controls. You can specify the attendance in the video mosaic as well as the participant's background. The next set of permissions is related to access to the online whiteboard and its content. Whether the participant would be able to see the whiteboard, write and edit objects. If you give a participant the right to be a presenter, they will be able to toggle the presentation mode, share YouTube videos and other media in the media player, share files on the online whiteboard or create and edit online whiteboard sheets. To prevent distractions or improper communication, the host can manage the chat option in the virtual classroom. It can be fully disabled or only personal communication could be restricted. Note that even if write in the chat is disabled, the participants can still chat with the host via the personal chat but not with the other participants. The last set of controls is related to the file library or to viewing, uploading or downloading files. There is also an option to ban a participant or expel them from the session. The banned participant will be logged out and a notification of the action will be shown in the notifications list. If you decide to unban them, go to all participants list, the name will be at the bottom of the list marked in red and with a padlock on the right side. In order to unban, press the padlock once. Condition 2 for reducing distraction is the distraction monitoring feature. When a participant moves to another browser tab or opens another program or application on their device, a yellow indicator will appear at the bottom left corner of their video in the video mosaic. In this way, the host will know if someone is not looking in the virtual classroom tab. This yellow icon for distraction will be visible in the participants list so all other people will see when a participant is not really paying attention. With options, the host can ensure that the class runs smoothly and prevent distractions, disturbance and unwanted participation. An additional and very important setting is to allow participants to browse the whiteboard pages. If this is not on, then participants will be able to follow and see the whiteboard sheet that the host shows them. If you create sheets named after the session participants with content for each of them, you have to give them the right to browse. Together with this, slide all whiteboard permissions to green. Finally, click on the three vertical dots at the bottom of the whiteboard and choose Settings. Here you can find a couple of additional options related to participants notifications, the raise hand sounds and also if they will be allowed to send screen sharing requests. Managing participant settings in Vedamo Virtual Classroom offers several benefits for smooth and effective session facilitation. Hosts can ensure a conductive learning atmosphere, enhancing overall teaching and learning experiences. Thank you for watching. You can also check the detailed step-by-step -step article in the description of this video. Happy teaching!